This is the fourth video in the Caravan Park database, Unit 2, Create a System to Manage Information. And in this video, we're going to look at the queries. Let's just have a look at the paper. We've got queries and report to do. We've got 40 minutes advised for this activity. You may want to take a little bit longer. And so one tip is to start this activity, use 40 minutes, do as much as you can. You can always come back to it at the end if you've got some time. Now, the reason I'm suggesting this is because when you come to the testing and the evaluation, you don't actually need the queries and the report to be able to complete those activities. So if you spent too much time on these queries, you may be missing out marks that you could get for the testing and the evaluation. Let's just have a look at the what we've got to do. There's always two queries in activity three. The first one, query A, is usually quite straightforward and everybody should be able to achieve this. Let's have a look at A first. We've got to create a query to display a sorted list of models that have no more than two bedrooms and have double glazing. It must display only the manufacturer name, the model name, and the number of bedrooms from highest to lowest. The query needs to display a sorted list of models that have no more than two bedrooms. So we need the number of bedrooms and the number of bedrooms appears in TBL module. So we need module adding to the query and there's our number of bedrooms. We also need those that have got double glazing and Yes, we've got double glazing there in this table that we've already added. We must display only the manufacturer name and the van manufacturer name is in TBL manufacturer and there's the manufacturer name and the model name, which is in TBL model and the number of bedrooms must be highest to lowest. I've added to the query design manufacturer name because we need to display that, the model name, the number of bedrooms and the double glazing and all I'll do is double click on the fields that I want in the query. We want the number of bedrooms to be no more than two so I put less than three you could for example use between one and two and we also want the ones which are double glazed so double glazing yes in the criteria. We need to have the number of bedrooms in order, uh, highest to lowest, so that's descending in the sort row. And we need to display just the manufacturer name, the model name and the number of bedrooms. We're not displaying the double glazing, so therefore it's not ticked in the showroom. Just a quick piece of advice when you're doing these queries, make sure you've got the relationship line showing between the tables in your query. If they're not connected up with the relationship line, your queries won't work properly. Possibly you might need to add another table, for example, but just check that you've got those relationship lines there. And when you display the query in datasheet view, you can see now the answer. We've got just the manufacturer's name, the model name, the number of bedrooms, and that's in uh, descender, i.e. the highest first, and then we haven't got the double glazing displayed. Now on to the second query, and the second query can be quite tricky in this exam, and it's tricky for a reason. It often involves some sort of calculation, um, maybe use of functions and some sort of criteria, maybe some sorting as well. Let's have a look at this one. Each caravan sale is given a rating. If the actual sale price is more than £500 below the advertised sale price, then the rating is poor. Otherwise, the rating is good. Create a query to display the rating for caravan sales where there is a difference between the advertised sale price and the actual sales price. Calculate 
the difference between the advertised sale price and the actual sales price and the rating. And we need to display the caravan ID, the advertised sale price, the actual sale price, the difference between the advertised sale price and the actual sale price and the rating. The first thing to do is to get the tables into the query. Now we need to display the caravan ID and caravan ID is in TBL caravan so we add that table to the query. We need the advertised sale price and the actual sales price and they're in TBL sale so we need to add TBL sale to the query. We're going to work out the difference between the advertised sale price and the actual sale price and we're going to work out the rating as well in the query. Again, just check you've got a relationship line between the tables in the query. I've added the caravan ID field by double clicking on caravan ID and you'll notice I've taken that from TBL sale. I've added the advertised sale price from TBL sale and the actual sale price from TBL sale as well. The next thing in the query is to work out the sales difference between the advertised sale price and the actual sale price. So here in the next column in the design, I've called this sales diff colon, and that indicates it's going to be a calculation. And the result is going to be called sales diff. And so I've got the advertised sale price minus the actual sale price. And in the total row, I've said this is an expression. We've also got greater than zero in the criteria row in the query design because we don't want anywhere the sales difference is a negative number. In the next column of the design, we're going to work out this rating. And again, because it's a calculation, or in this case, it's the use of a function if, I've called the result rating. So I've got rating colon and then if IIF open bracket. And I'm saying if that sales diff, which we worked out in the previous column, if it's greater than 500, then I want poor to appear next to the record. If not, then I want good to appear. And basically what we're saying here is if that actual sales price is a large amount different to the advertised sales price, that means we've got less than what we were hoping for, then that rating is poor. Alternatively, if the actual sale price is £500 within the advertised sale price, then we're saying that rating is good. It's achieved nearly its advertised sale price. And here we've got the result in data sheet view. Just check that our first caravan, the advertised sale price was 28,000. The actual sale price was 26,500. The sales difference there was 1,500. Therefore, that's a poor rating. Uh, the next two caravans, well, let's have a look at number three, 24,000 for the advertised sale price, actual sale price, 23,500. There's only a 500 pound difference between those two prices. So the difference was 500 and therefore that rating was good. And then finally, caravan four, we advertised at 30,000. We sold it for 29,500. Therefore, the difference was only 500 and therefore the rating is good. That's the two queries completed now. The second part of activity three covers creating a report and I'm going to do that in a separate video. So that will be in the next video.